Alright guys, so it is Operation Get E36 on the road. Uh, like I said before, we're trying to get the E36 ready for H2O. That is the goal. It doesn't happen, not a big deal, but I want it to happen. So, we're going to try. Now, you guys know I said I got the Mega Square ECU. It is a full standalone ECU for the E36, so I can officially tune it myself, and it's a big deal. I'm really excited. So, that comes in hopefully tomorrow, and uh, there's a lot of preparations we need to get everything all set. Now the first thing I needed to install is an AM wideband sensor. Now this basically just tells us our air fuel ratio and our exhaust so we could tune the car accordingly to get our, you know, AFR is correct. So this isn't anything too special. It's just a typical Bosch O2 sensor, um, wire harness, and a, uh, a gauge right here. And with that, we can actually uh, wire that into our mega squirt and be able to get that data on our computer. And we can also use that for uh, important tools like target AFRs and stuff like that. So we just found a area in the exhaust that we figured would be best for it. It's a little bit farther away from the manifold than I'd like, but I don't think it'd be too bad. Um, the E46 is a dual exhaust off the header. So once we come down, there's, so two feet from the header, it comes down into one collector and we're gonna throw it right there, so. Hopefully you should do the trick. All right, so as you guys can see, we have two collectors off the headers. They come down and meet right here. Like I said, this is a little bit farther away than I usually put it. Usually you want to be about like, I don't know, 18 inches from the exhaust mode. Roughly. Roughly. Sure. Give not? or take. Give or take. Maybe like closer. But right here it comes together, so it'll give us a good reading. Um, I need to buy new step -ins. holy hell. I use it every time and I regret it. Don't don't waste your time. Just go out and buy a new bit. Or else you're just gonna sit here for how long be on? A lifetime. Jip to Jip, if you're watching this, you just ate the day, you don't even know it. We hit a lick on your bitch ass. <laughs> Thank you, Jip. I, I, I'll get you back with another one. I'm going to Harbor Freight tomorrow. Don't roast it. This one sucks ass too. Damn it, Jip. Dig deep, Bri, come on. It's Harbor Freight shit. Final freaking stretches, man. I, I did half it sucks, so B's taking over. Beautiful. Sick as heck. Now I'll know my AFRs. So this has been taking me a pathetically long amount of time, but we have the O2 sensor right here. Put a little faster on the chassis, and I'm gonna do it the, and I'm gonna do it the laziest way and going through the shifter hole. Now I always kind of feel guilty doing that, but the next best way would be to run it forward in the car, and then back into the chassis. But that's so much extra wiring. Um, there are a lot more chances for you to like kind of burn up the wires because it leads up the exhaust. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm being lazy, but never had an issue with it. So, Drew, Tube, your thoughts? It's bitching. Now we finna know the AFRs, which is very safe. <laughs> What's up, guy? What brings you here so late, huh? Calls in trouble? I brought Gwen dinner at Yale. Oh, so I was, this was on my way back. Oh, well, so you're a great guy, are you? I am. At Tell Yale. your friends. All right, now the one thing I've been having a lot of issues with so far is the fuel system. Most of the E36 um, chassis come with a electronically controlled fuel pressure regulator. It's like a whole unit. And instead of converting the chassis to that because it's a pain in the ass and they're kind of expensive, I got a manual fuel pressure. I got a manual fuel pressure regulator, which is okay. I mean, it could, it's fine. I got a tell me one. I shoved it down there. Now, the only problem I'm having is um, it doesn't seem to be dispersing the fuel correctly. So I think the fuel pressure regulator, regulator might be bad. So we're gonna test it real quick right now. See if we can get fuel pressure to the fuel rail. And if not, we'll just change it because B-Hall brought me another one. Wanna sleep over there? Yeah. You good? Tired, man. Come on, wake up. I'm stressed. Leave me alone. I just wanna sleep. All right, you do you, RJ. Watch, I'm gonna get sprayed in the face. Oh, didn't hook the battery up. I don't see anything. Yeah? No, I don't see anything. So I realized that there's like a bleeder valve on the E36 fuel rail right here, and I'm gonna press it. Alright, we don't have fuel pressure. That means something's wrong. 
if that actually works. I mean, look, it's a Schrader valve on a damn fuel rail. You ever seen that, ever seen that before, RJ? I have not. Exactly. <laughs> so j honestly, dude, like just this task alone makes me so happy. I spent the money on <laughs> the damn lift. I remember <laughs> trying to, I tried, I was messing with the fuel lines on the ground on my back and it was literally miserable. I might get a lot of fuel on the Only camera. Only every person in the comment has been uh, telling you to do I this. I know, forever. but like things have to align. You know what I mean? Like you just can't be like, oh, let me just spend, you know, two grand. You can't just, I mean, at least I'm not in that position. <laughs> okay. Fuel might go everywhere, so be careful. I don't want to get covered in fuel. No fuel came out. That's can Come sorry. on. Oh, no fuel came out. Did you put it away with any fuel? It's weird. I might turn the key on and see if fuel squirts out. Look underneath the car, see if it pisses fuel. You like this technique? Technique! Ready? Ready, set, go. Nope, nothing. Absolutely nothing's coming out. Bone dry. You have a problem, sir. I do. One in five. People can't get it going. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you twenty percent, RJ? Um forty-eight point six percent. Suck. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I, I didn't stop filming for that. Sorry about my laugh, guys. What's up guys? What's, What's up? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm you good. You need I'm a minute? Good. I just like totally forgot that that chair like leans when you. <laughs> oh fucking! Hell. My pump's bad. It's getting warrantied, but I'm not hiding it. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know either. We'll be right back. Right. Leave me alone. Uh, come on. I need you to. I need to pass this off to you. Pass I, what off? The camera. No. Come on. No. They gotta go home. That's not my problem. But I'm gonna make it your problem. No, you're not. Here, here. Go away. Just Don't break his expensive Brian, just take the camera. Look, you almost broke it. I gotta go home. All right, peace. Bye, RJ. Just leave. Okay. <laughs> So if you guys haven't figured it out by now, um, I've been trying to figure out where the hell the fuel's going. If it's building fuel pressure, what if the fuel pressure regular is set up correctly? And um, I'm having an issue where um, it just seems like I have no fuel pressure. You could hear the fuel pump kick on, you could hear it like prime almost. First I tried to determine which one was my feed and my return line, and I did. And it was all hooked up correctly, everything was hooked up. I pulled my, re my return line, and when I gave it prime the fuel pump, no fuel came out. So I'm basically trying, trying to unplug everything at once, working from my return up to see if there's something clogging or preventing the fuel to come through. I have the return directly off the rail, not going to fuel pressure, fuel pressure regulator. And if I prime the fuel pump, this should be squirting fuel essentially back into the tank, but into this water bottle. Nothing. Nothing that time. He touched something and fuel came out. So I- I, th did, I didn't even touch anything. I think we just have a background. Yeah. So we're gonna reground a few things and get back to you guys and hopefully the thing pisses off you. So let's see uh, see if that helps. And beautiful. It prompts beautiful. Try to crank the crank it again. Crank that soldier boy. Crank so healthy. nice and clean. Yeah. Doesn't it sound so healthy? Good. Well, what I did notice now that my fuel system is working is my fuel pressure regulator is probably the biggest piece of shit fuel pressure regulator ever and it will not stop leaking fuel. Out of literally every fitting, no matter how tight I put them, no matter how much seal I put on them, so. Looks like I got skunked. Um, I thought it was a real Tomy fuel pressure regulator and it's clearly fake and that was, ah, that's upsetting. But I'm gonna take it out and change it out for one that um, b -Hall actually found in his shop. All right. ah, fake ass Tomy, unfortunately. You can see the fittings right here. Um, this thing probably would work, but the fittings actually bottom out all the way inside there. This is supposed to be an NPT fitting. An NPT fitting, the way it actually seals is the threads themselves are tapered so when you tighten it it actually create you know gets tighter and it creates a seal i don't think this is mpt i think this is literally just a straight thread unreal i think it's an edelbrock one so i'm gonna put my faith in here and see what happens but just like i thought because it's not a crappy i guess ebay fuel pressure regulator this one doesn't leak so i'm gonna tighten all up and we should be all set and the fuel system should hopefully be done why do you wear khakis to a garage done I'm not <laughs> doing anything to you. The chassis harness usually wraps around the front of the engine and kind of like, I think it actually hovers on the radiator, but 
Of course, we don't want that because it looks like an ass. So we're gonna actually go through, if you could see it, probably through the headlight bucket right there, back over and back up, and we should be straight. I mean, really all we need from this is, there's a coolant temp sensor on here. Um, there's a headlight harness, and then there is the grounds, and then like the fog lights. So that should be easy to keep in this area. All right, so you guys know I have this, I bought this very expensive Porsche math that I didn't want to buy. So we can tune it all nice, nice. But I'm just gonna put this damn thing on speed density because I have the mega squirt, so I can actually get rid of this whole thing. I say it all the time, speed density is where you tune a car off a map sensor instead of math sensor. Math sensors are, in this case, it would probably be way better to tune this car in a math, but you know what? I don't have room to put a filter on this and everything, so screw it. I'll make it run nice on a map sensor. It's not a big deal, but that was a big, big waste of money. If anyone needs a Porsche math, Hit me up. If you guys remember, I had a really, really big problem where if I put the math there, I'd have no room to put an air filter because these headlights are huge because of Euro headlights and they have these like crazy motors in them. But now I can just get throw a filter right there and we should be all set. So it's actually good news. Too damn eager to get this front bumper back on. Don, get my, get my camera guy. I got you. Thanks, buddy. I usually like think cool cars look pretty badass with no bumper on. I guess it's just being a drift like, yeah. like loser. But um, with the front mount. With the front mount stuff, but this car, like, look how empty it is in the front. Like, so empty. It's so weird. <laughs> it's missing its bottom jaw. Like, yeah. I love that. these hammer crash supports. They make the bumpers fit so tight. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna bolt this up, get the trim on, and uh, go from there. My luck, I literally cannot find this one piece of trim. <laughs> God damn it, Don. Let's come on. We gotta look for this thing. All right, it's not gonna be difficult. It's only small, black, and just blends in with everything. Like it's literally right in front of us somewhere. But what do you guys think of the yellow fog lights? I don't know, I think they're a little tacky looking. Especially, I don't know. If the car was like really clean one color maybe, but Don likes them. I think they would look better clear. What do you guys, let me know what you guys think. I don't know. Ah. I know, there's just so much yeah, going on. I think clear, at least smoked ones. Would yeah, there's just so much going on with the car. It's kind of yeah. hard to. Well, we made some progress on the E36 today. Maybe not as much as I was hoping for, but we did get a few things done that has that has needed to be done. So uh, I, I still got to finish putting the AFR gauge in, um, wide band gauge, whatever. I got the sensor in. It's like the annoying part. So wire the sensor in. We should be all set on that. Um, fuel seems good, which is sick. Um, mechanically, the engine seems good. Uh, full drivetrain's hooked up. All the fluids are in it besides coolant, but that's that's easy. Um, Besides that, we gotta get the mega squirrel wired up, put in, and hopefully it's as easy as that and we have no issues. I mean, still gotta do a shakedown, so I don't know. I mean, and she needs some love. And I gotta find this damn piece. Dad, I think you, you think you hit it on me. I, I wish I was a little more productive today. Um, I literally, I spent, I got no sleep last night and I spent all day running errands and doing other stuff, so <sighs> it's okay. Tomorrow, I'll get some good sleep tonight. We'll be productive tomorrow. It's gonna be a great day. So, I think that's about it for today. So, I hope you guys like today's video. So, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And, Don, finish it off. Have a good night, fellas.